Hello, everybody. Uh, this is DFS Chan coming to you here to talk about January 27th LCS slate. Um, since I'm recording kind of late, um, about we're about 70 minutes away from the actual uh, first game of the day. So I'll keep it keep this pretty brief and short. Um, yesterday, real quick, um, we did go for five for five on the predictions on the video. Um, so, you know, needless, needless to say that it was a profitable and good slate for all of our followers and betters and fantasy players. So let's keep it going uh, again today in the LCS. Um, so, yeah, without any further ado, let's dive in. Um, I want to see the LCS. Oh, there you go. So today we have a CLG versus EG, Golden Guardians versus Cloud9, TSM versus TL, and 100 Thieves against Immortals and FlyQuest against Dignitas. So I think how I'm going to do this is by just with the notepad as well, um, like yesterday. Um, I like, so this, ignore these numbers. That's just my metrics. But um, I do wanted to point out the odds. Um, Okay, so um, evil gene. Oh, let's let's see. let's play with the biggest one, the Team Liquid. Um, they're the biggest favorite and minus seven hundred. I'm not hundred percent sure if Team Liquid should be that fav should that much that highly favored, uh, given how they looked yesterday. But then they're playing against TSM, who is probably one of the bottom feeders um, in in the LCS this year. Even though they won the game yesterday against Immortals, Immortals is also one of the worst teams projected in the LCS. So I'm not giving that much credit to TSM. And if you look at the stats, um, I'll sh I can kind of show you after this. But TSM had the worst uh, jungle control percentage and goal difference at 15 minutes uh, in that game against Immortals. Immortals actually had an advantage there. TSM just had better team fights and better game management uh, into in the mid to late game. That's how they won and flipped the script um, within the game. So I'm just not hu hugely confident that TSM can pull off the upset. I do think TL will win, but I think TL will be more prone to not making mistakes today and try to secure a win. Um, just given how new the roster is and how um, new the teammates are playing with one another. Um, so I think that's why the total uh, kills over under, according to Vegas, is twenty is set at 22.5, which is pretty low. Um, I do think it's probably domination by TL, but at the same time, I don't think it's going to be high kill upside. So I'm going to say medium to low kill upside. But TL is the biggest favorite, so I think they're going to be pretty chalky. Um, and, and their jungler did not play well. So I think that's, you know, one of the biggest uh, takeaway points yesterday that TL is not, it's not quite there yet as pe some people may have uh, predicted. The next biggest favorite on the slate is 100 Thieves. 100 Thieves, um, as you guys know, with Doublelift and Bjergsen did not look that great. Those are veterans playing with the Academy players that, kept, that have come up. Um, to the pro scenes and closer at jungle who's been very consistent um, but they still have a long way to um, you know uh, create synergy and play well together kind of like how TL what I talked about a few minutes ago um, so 100 Thieves it's not 100% trustworthy either um, against Immortals who won the early game like I said against TSM and jungle control percentage so Immortals actually had fair better than TSM, so I think they're a better opponent or a harder opponent against Thunder Thieves. Um, I do think Thunder Thieves likes to play slow, just given what I've seen so far in the la in in their last game yesterday. Um, I think with more veterans, I think they're, you know, probably more confident in the macro game strategy and management. So I think that's probably why they don't want to win <laughs> the games uh, through team fights. Um, I think they want to win the games through like thinking ahead of the team opponents and objectives and across the map and around the map. I think that's kind of like how their win conditions are going to be tied to, uh, to the team this year, um, just given how the veterans like to play on that team. So I do think just given that, I think it's going to be me mid to uh, medium to low kill upside as well. And like I said, I'm not, I'm not hugely confident in hundred thieves and 
team liquid to win today, but they should win today. Um, on the other hand, we have the next biggest favorite at uh, minus 310, Cloud9, and then minus 305, close enough to uh, with uh, FlyQuest. Cloud9 and FlyQuest are actually my two biggest um, teams that teams that I'm backing. Um, I like Cloud9 a lot, given what I saw yesterday. Blabber was amazing at Jungle, and then Berserker uh, has shown some promises, you know, here and there in certain team fights. Um, he does need to in improve um, in the early game in the laning phase, but against Golden Guardians, who just is not very good this year, I think Cloud9 should roll over them. Um, I do think Cloud9 likes to team fight, likes to kind of skirmish and rack up kills throughout the throughout the games that I've seen yesterday and also the last also last season. So I think Cloud Nine's uh, games are always going to have that medium to high kill upside potentially. So I like Cloud Nine here today. And then similarly, I like FlyQuest from what I saw, you know, Spica, I mean, you know, he was just stuck on a bad team at TSM last year. Now he's back, but now he's um, in, in a position to thrive with the superstars like Prince at AD Carry and Vikla in the mid lane and Impact who is Mr. Consistent in the top lane with um, some good players. Um, so yeah, I really like FlyQuest the way they, they played. Prince as again was, I think I said this yesterday's on yesterday's video, but he was the best, second best AD Carry um and player potentially in the uh, in the LCK last year he is definitely the best AD carry in um in the LCS this season and he's already shown that yesterday even in an one game sample size he was amazing i think Spica will like a, like i said thrive with all these uh good players that um will exert their dominance in the laning phase as well i think in the team fights they can definitely improve but that 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 will come with time you know, and, and playing together. So, and playing against Dignitas, who probably was the worst team performance in the LCS uh, yesterday, um, losing to CLG. I think FlyQuest really like should roll over Dignitas here today, unless they overlook Dignitas. I think Fly, so yeah, FlyQuest, Cloud9, I'm very confident. I think this is to medium to high kill upside as well. Um, they like to fight. Spica is aggressive, tends to be aggressive. And then um, Prince in the bottom lane likes to be aggressive, which is a good combo to have in the current, in the current meta, as mentioned. Jungle, good jungle, and good AD carry player. And with that, I think they should be able to win against Dignitas in, in a probably a high kill upside game. Last game I haven't talked about is Evil Geniuses against CLG. This is technically, according to the Vegas odds, the closest matchup. And I think I think it should be. I think CLG actually has shown me some promises. I know it was just one game against probably the worst team in the LCS this year, maybe against Dignitas, but CLG actually has looked pretty good yesterday. Um, it is a different <laughs> different matter to go against Evil Geniuses, who is projected to probably finish first or second, or at least in top three this in uh, this year in the LCS. Um, Evil Geniuses obviously has a very solid roster and great jungler and inspired. Um, I think it's going to be a tough matchup against CLG uh, or for CLG, but I think CLG, if I were to pick like an upset pick, I'm definitely going to go with CLG, just given what I saw yesterday with the momentum and also the jungle control percentage was enormously high uh, against Dignitas. Um, and, and given that, I think CLG definitely has a shot but it's going to be a tall task to beat EG, who is, you know, probably one of the best teams in the LCS. But, you know, I think I'm going to have some CLG, um, some some Evil Geniuses probably. Um, so we'll see how that goes. But um, I think it's going to be medium to high kill as well. Um, the reason why CLG's numbers were kind of low yesterday, because they played against Dignitas and Dignitas really like doesn't like to play fast they like to play a little bit on the slower side so i think it's going to be restored um for clg here playing against evil geniuses who also likes to skirmish uh, quite a bit um so i i like this matchup for the gpp contests for uh dfs purposes and as mentioned my favorite two teams um today are cloud nine and FlyQuest. 
yeah so anyway that's all i got for you guys today if you guys have any questions let me know please i know it's almost four o'clock i'll be uploading it as soon as this ends um but yeah i hope you guys win some money today and hope you guys uh, enjoy the lcs if you have any questions uh please reach out to DF dfs chan um, if you like the video, if you find these videos helpful for you and in any fashion, yeah, please, please hit the like button below um, and thumbs up and then subscribe to our channel. Otherwise, yeah, have fun out there and good luck. Bye bye. Have a good one.